A number of schools in Livingston County closed today due to the lack of staff. At least one is planning to return virtually. The county health department says there's been a 24% spike in cases from November to January, likely from holiday gatherings. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham spoke with a parent whose child is in isolation and recovering from COVID. She says she wishes the county would require every child to put on a mask in school. A letter sent home by Brighton Area School Superintendent Matthew Outlaw states about 25% of students at Scranton Middle School have been absent in recent days for various reasons, including 18 positive cases of COVID last week, which now has that school temporarily going virtual. I can't say we didn't see this coming because we expected this. Christina Kefkakis says she has four children attending Brighton area schools, including Scranton Middle School, which closed today due to a decline in attendance by students and staff according to a district letter from the superintendent. And as Kefkakis says she expected, the school is going virtual from the 18th to the 28th. She says one of her sons is among the 18 kids who came down with COVID. On Saturday morning, his symptoms started, and within a day, he had a fever going from 99 to 103.5. He's vaxxed, fully vaxxed. She says her children have masked up since day one, and she wishes the district or the county health department would put in place a mask mandate. When they talked about the return to school plan this year, we had talked about how last year we had masking and we had more distance and um, things like that. Uh, the concern from parents like me was that they changed the plan, um, but we're still comparing it to last year's plan and we're expecting the same kind of result. I think we're on the same track for other schools too if they don't change things. Brighton area schools, not alone in attendance issues. Highlander Way Middle School in Howell also closed today because of staffing issues and will also be going virtual next week. Fowlerville Community Schools closed today because of staffing issues too, but they will be in person Tuesday. This graph from the Livingston County Health Department's website represents weekly cases per 100,000. The department says a 24% increase from November to January 3rd is quote likely due to an uptick in large holiday gatherings from mid to late December. If they really were concerned about keeping kids in school physically, then they should be looking at what kept kids in school last year. I reached out to Howell schools and Brighton area schools for input. As of news time, I have not heard back. Now in the district letter, Brighton superintendent did say Scranton will return on the 31st or possibly sooner if things improve next week. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Darren, thank you.